Okay, may have something here. I'm going to pull it up and see what happens. Maybe it snags or... Feels like something's on the line. Okay, it's something we want, not a dogfish. Looks like I'll pick up some seaweed. And it looks like something's possibly nibbled on the uh, herring back there. So, put it back down, make sure he's back up a ways. Start back at the top of the sand, drift back this way again and see what happens. But hopefully, we'll hook something today. So no luck on that last reel in. This is just the current. Again, getting used to uh, the whole halibut fishing thing. Still extremely new to me. So we'll uh, keep going for a while. I got another hour easily I can fish. So and in the meantime, I'll just sit back, relax, enjoy the view around here, which is really hard to beat. the tip of this pole you can see why I was feeling like there was something on here earlier 
you see it uh, smooth and it jerks around, smooth and it jerks around, so keep watching it, but I'm uh, not holding my breath just yet. Alright, catch of the day. It is definitely what's not for dinner. So, I'll uh, pull my other line in, see if there's any better luck there. So if you wonder what a halibut rig looks like, um, this is on the spreader bar, right? So I've got braided line coming down to the bar, hooked onto a one pound weight, right? Which still wasn't keeping it right under the boat, because with the current, that was just not enough. So, leader is stainless steel cable. All right, and hooks, right, and pick up a, a herring, right, onto the front hook, lay this on the side, and then uh, tie that down good and tight, and uh, I just cut it off, send it to the bottom so the crabs get to eat too. But that's, that's a herring rig for a small-ish hair, or a, uh, halibut rig for a smallish halibut so I'll pull in the uh, one for the bigger halibuts that bounces along the bottom let you take a look at that as well so if I make it back in I'll uh, probably fling my remaining bait here I think these are like a bucket buck of fish yeah a little less than that I'll fling them over to the seals maybe get some of that on footage seals gotta eat as well and I'm sure they love an easy meal so I'll reel the other lines in, forget anything, I'll uh, you know, record it, but I'm not holding my breath yet, but it's still a decent day out. So this is the big halibut rig. One of the things looking into it um, I found was that if you want to catch big halibut, you need to use big bait. So the three pound weight, which was still not enough to keep it direct under the boat with the incoming tide current, Right, attached to the bottom of the halibut rig, which was floating two squid lures, and I get an idea of the size of this circle hook. Right, I mean, pretty substantial uh, hook. When these went down, they both had herring on them. Obviously that didn't last, so, but two of those, right, suspended, they both have floats sitting inside, right, it would keep them in the water with the current kind of out, right, at different depths, kind of get an overall idea of it, but uh, no joy today, so. We'll uh, give it a go again next year, or if Washington State decides they need another emergency halibut season this year, we'll uh, come out here again. But for now, we have these herring left, and you can see over here on the buoy, there's a couple of seal there at least out sunning themselves. So we'll go give them a treat, and we'll uh, head on home.